Do you know how beneficial cloves are for our body? In this video, I will share some facts with you and explain what happened in the body if you consume just one clove daily. Maybe you are already using herbal tea. You can incorporate clove into it. If you prepare food at home, be sure to include cloves in your recipe. Alternatively, you can simply chew a clove or keep it in your mouth for a while. Chew it slowly and then swallow it. Cloves are also used in various things worldwide. Research institutions and pharmaceutical companies hold over 130 patents related to cloves. These patents grant exclusive rights for specific uses of cloves. In the fields of medicine, health, agriculture, cosmetics, and industrial application, only the institution with the patent has the authority to include cloves in its products. Clove has many research-backed benefits and it's a natural painkiller. It contains analgesic properties meaning it reduces pain. The most common use of cloves is in relieving toothaches and when we discuss its advantages, the reason lies in the essential oil found in it. In clove oil, there is a phytonutrient called eugenol. This oil can also be found separately in the market and you can buy it. The distinctive fragrance of cloves is due to its flower and this oil contains a compound known as eugenol which can also be described as a plant-based chemical. It constitutes 70 to 80% of the oil and contains many other beneficial nutrients. What I appreciate about natural herbs and spices is that they provide a complete package from nature. Unlike medication that contain isolated compounds. By the way, 50% of medicine are also derived from plant chemicals. Companies that produce medicine extract these compounds from plant and then synthesize them in the laboratory. They are made synthetically for mass production and then a patent is filed. Now I would like to share some of the amazing property of cloves with you. These are the defense properties of the clove plant mechanism that help the plant survive. It has taken care of itself over time. The question arises, what poses a threat to plant? Why do they need a defense mechanism? Plants are also at risk of bacterial, fungal and viral attacks. These microgems come to plant through polluted air, dirty water and insect like worms and mosquitoes. Then the plant immune system and its defense mechanism prevents their attack. This is why clove have antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal and antiparasitic properties. This is its greatest benefit. Speaking from antifungal properties, some people suffer from candida overgrowth. Bacterial biofilms are present in the body which later transform into plaque on the teeth or may cause some infections. So using cloves oil or chewing cloves can be very beneficial. I must mention here that before using the cloves, it is essential to consult your primary doctor. I am not claiming that it will cure any disease and even if it does, that's great. Some people also use clove oil on the scalp to get rid of dandruff. It performs effectively. Dandruff is a result of a specific fungus known as Melasesia. Some studies have indicated that clove oil can decrease the presence of this Melasesia fungus which produces harmful substances on the head. Research on clove has highlighted that when it is consumed with alongside an antibiotic, its MIC efficiency value rises. The MIC efficiency value denotes the concentration at which bacterial growth is halted. This implies that a minimal amount of antibiotics is required to prevent an infection. A higher MIC efficiency value indicates a more potent effect of the drug. As you may be aware, increased antibiotic consumption can lead to the body developing resistance to it. The harmful bacteria in the body that cause diseases become slightly stronger, resulting in a reduction in the population of beneficial bacteria. While we are talking about the antimicrobial properties of bacteria, another research has been conducted on the Isle of Globe investigating how it inhibits the growth of H. pylori. The H. pylori bacteria is responsible for gastric ulcers. Clove prevents these ulcers along with gastritis, indigestion, gas and bloating. Additionally, cloves contain a compound called eugenol which inhibits the action of an enzyme called monoamine oxidase. Working as an enzyme inhibitor, it prevents the action of this enzyme leading to an increase in neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. These neurotransmitters play a crucial role in improving mood, reducing depression, and alleviating anxiety. Now let's discuss the anti-inflammatory effects of cloves. It is beneficial for arthritis as well. Some studies even mention its anti-cancer properties, especially against lung cancer. Traditional Chinese medicine has been using cloves for the past 3000 years. 
Now let's talk about some precautions. Pregnant women and nursing mothers who breastfeed should avoid consuming cloves directly. Instead, they can use clove oil. The recommended dosage for clove oil is 2.4 mg per kilogram of body weight. For example, if someone weighed 70 kg, the recommended dosage would be 2.4 multiplied by 70, resulting in an appropriate dose. Avoid exceeding this recommended dose to prevent potential side effects including liver toxicity. Some people may experience allergic reactions, so if discomfort occurs after conception, refrain from further intake. That's all for this video. Take better care of yourself. See you in the next video.